all right guys so it's 8 41 monday november 27th and um i'm literally leaving for my mom and my dad they're still in the hospital um so basically when i made this video uh right now that you're about to see uh you know it was after thanksgiving literally um and uh, as y'all know, like I said before my other video, that my mom wasn't feeling well, that's why she couldn't participate. And then actually when we went shopping, um, there was a video I also put up out into the photos here. And she was, it started from there um, that pretty much how everything went down. But, um, how can I put this without, cause you know, it's still very fresh. Um, I don't want to give the enemy any space, you know, you power, you there's power in your words, you know. So what I'm just going to say is this, and it's funny, not literal, literally, but funny in a sense where I was just talking about health is wealth, health is wealth, you know, and how um, it's important to take care of your body, right? And it's just crazy how everything just transpired, how everything just, like my mom says, you know, uh, uh, you know how easily things can turn from day to night you know and it is very important to take care of your body it is very vital you uh you follow up with your doctor but it's also very vital that you sit there and you make sure your doctor is listening to you and you feel comfortable and that you know you make sure that your doc your doctor is and if he isn't or she isn't you make sure you follow up with a different doctor because if they don't care about your health then no you know what i mean so, um, right now my mom is, uh, she's doing a better, a little better. She's doing, you know, God, God got my mom, you know, God got my mommy and um, it's been rough for all of us. Um, it really has, you know, I mean, she's like the glue, especially for my dad. He's been with my mom since he was 17, you know, and it's, you know, heartbreaking to see my dad like this and, um, my mom and then my brothers and then, you know, my husband, especially, um, everyone, you know, who wants to, you know, go through this. I know I don't, I would have never thought in a million years I'd be going through this, you know, and I just remain strong, you know, I, um. I hold a lot of things in. Um, I cry on my own time. Not because I'm weak or I doubt God. Um, like my dad made a point about that. You know, it's because we, we're human, you know. We, we we feel, you know, we feel. I know we have emotions. But I know my God's gonna pull my mom through, you know. My, my dad and uh, and um, his uh, friends and in the ministries, you know, they've been praying for my mom and i appreciate everyone who has been doing that listen you huh, i can't appreciate it anymore you know like right now is the time i'm at, i'm begging pleading please keep praying you know even for myself um you know and everything is just happening all at once you know but that's just you know the devil trying to sneak in and i'm not gonna allow him no you know and um my mom got this and furthermore god has the last say um you know man can say and and you know and diagnose but in the end of the day you know god has the last say he makes things turn around you know and then this is an eye opener for all of us here too you know health like i was just saying it was just so weird i was just saying this health is wealth i was just getting at myself about my health you know, and then, you know, I went out with my mom shopping and then this happened, literally, and um, shook up our world, you know, we're not doubting God, we know God, we know God got us, you know, but I must say, all right, it did open my eyes, my brother's eyes, um, my mom as well too, it, it opened my mommy as well, you know, I did. Um, it's a sad, yeah, you know, because we're used to my mom a certain way. We're used to my mommy, um, being in her room beating and, you know, she's a strong woman. And even now she's, you know, she's strong, she's fighting, you know, but I know, um, you know, 
she gonna be all right. My baby gonna be all right. My daddy's gonna be all right. We all gonna be all right. You know, I just keep asking you guys pray. You know, what you're gonna see after this actually is the days, um, I believe the first day and the second day of my mommy. This is a couple of days later. She's admitted in the hospital. She'll be here for a little bit until she gets well enough, you know, cause it's very serious. Um, and again, we we got the armor of God on. Um, we got this. We're all helping out each other. We're all, you know, doing what we got to do as a village. is very important right now, you know. And that's what my dad and my mom says. We don't got time for bickering. We don't got time for, you know, feuds. And, you know, I'm very protective. And that's why I say, and it's so crazy again. I just said this. Where, um, you know, you don't got time for for bickering and feuding with your loved ones, you know, and then God, cause you know, things could just shake up your world and look where we're at now, you know? And um, sometimes we get complacent and too comfortable. And then now it's like, okay, you you know what I mean? You gotta, you, you falling asleep and getting too comfortable and, and look what's going on now, you know? So cherish your loved ones, y'all. Cherish your loved ones. Also, um, check up on your loved ones. Also, you know, if it's mendable, mend it. Also, uh, check up on your friends that are not well. You know, you know, check on, on on your friend that you know is strong, because we go through things too. You know, check up on your your health, their health, anyone. You know what I mean? Because you you're here today, and Lord forbid, gone tomorrow. You know, and. Um, I wouldn't work. I wouldn't wish this on anybody, you know. But my mama's strong. I call my little pit bull in the skirt, you know. My mama's strong. It's just, you know, overwhelming. Yes. And I, I know God was gonna bring my my mama out of this, you know. My mom is. My mom gonna be all right. <laughs> my mom gonna be all right, y'all. So, um, yeah. So after this, right now, what you're gonna hear and see is basically those two days of my mom, and then after that, it's actually the video I recorded the day after Thanksgiving, which um, was the day I believe my mom went into the ER, and that's where everything just, I would say. The floodgates open for us. Yeah. So once again, I appreciate everybody. I do. I appreciate your prayers are showing out. God is definitely showing his miracle. God is definitely showing everything. And when the opportune time comes that I will share this moment, right now I feel like it's just too much. I don't want to cry anymore. I got a splitting headache. Headache. You know, and I cry because, again, not because I'm weak. It's because, you know, you know, my mama young, you know, 62. Her birthday is December 1st. And, you know, and it was like, what the hell? You know, and also, I, I will say this. Pay attention to your doctor. If they're not giving you the, 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 the medical attention you need and you feel in your heart is not right, and you feel that they don't care, leave, leave, run, run. That's all I'm gonna say. Do as you will with this information, literally. Because if you feel, see people used to make fun of me because I used to switch doctors a lot. You know why I switched doctors a lot back then? Because you, I, I could tell they never really cared. They just looked at me as a check. You know, a young girl complaining about pain. And mind you, I was complaining about my ovaries. And then to come to find out I had my uh, appendix uh, twisted with my uterus. How the hell? How the hell? So, I, and I was always complaining, complaining. No one would understand. I come to the ER. I couldn't lay down. It was too much. I couldn't let, get up. And no one understood it until... I had a hysterectomy, okay, and they found out, oh my gosh, Eurice, the pain you was having, I'm so sorry, it was because your appendix was twisted with your uterus. 
So I must say my OBGYN was amazing, but I just felt one oh one person there that I felt didn't really look like they cared enough to say, okay, let's dig deeper. Let's dig deeper. And when you feel that guy, that gut feeling run, that God said, I mean, I, Bishop Bronner said, uh, when you get that conviction in you, believe that gut, I mean, believe that feeling. The second one is confirmation when you hear that little, the other one. All right? So pay attention to your health. Your, and if you don't feel like you're being heard or being taken serious, run. Because your health is at stake. Literally, look what my family's going through. Okay, all right, guys. I hope you. Um, I don't want to say enjoy this video, but this is what happened. And uh, I'm gonna take some time. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be, you know, having my camera out and doing this. No, I'm not. I will, you know, try to keep my mind occupied. I'm, I'm busy. I'm moving as well. And Thursday, you know, so I was like, I got a lot going on, a lot. So. I'm going to do the best I can. I want to keep y'all posted. Um, and I love you guys. I do for, you know, sending your prayers and your well wishes. And um, she going to come out of this good. All right? All right, guys. God who? God got me, boo, and got my mommy, my little goosey, Lu no, Lucy goosey. All right, guys. And pray for my daddy. He, he, poor man, my man. Oh, I hate to see him like that. And my brother's. In my heart. Oh my god. Alright guys, see you later. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's literally the next day, the aftermath of Thanksgiving. So I wanted to come up on here really quick just to uh, I didn't get much to talk about yes. I didn't I was just all over the place. I didn't get I didn't get the time to talk about everything. But yes, today I am exhausted. I am tired. But um we're on a crunch time. It's Friday, November 24th of moving. I feel so, like Sunday. I know it feels like it's been yeah, it's like it feels like Sunday today. Yeah. So, um yeah, we're just like beat. I know I'm beat and I know I just can't wait to move now on the 30th. I mean, I can't wait, but you know what I mean? The anticipation is like there. So what I'm going to do today is, you know, it's oh, I have to do my Osempic pen. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Just reminded myself. Which I had a okay, one thing at a time. What am I saying about right now? Moving. Oh, so when I move, I think I'll be uh, you know more at ease. So right now I'm just today I'm just taking it easy, but I was just doing everything I have to do. I'm just gonna take this whole weekend to just I know they're gonna come tomorrow and pick up the big furniture that I'm gonna throw out. The salvage department, I believe it's called a ref whatever, the salvage department. So we're gonna do that um, tomorrow, but at least for the most part, I'm gonna start filling this back up again. Yeah, of our stuff. It's a, it's, it's a mayhem over here. But then um, I didn't know certain places would open. I thought after Thanksgiving, things were closed. But whatever. Um, Osempic. I have a little bit left, which I have to take my dose today. And it's like all my Walgreens are out of stock. So I definitely have to, definitely, definitely, definitely got to have it faxed over to a different, either CVS or something, because I'm going to need it for next Friday. I'm going to be literally out of it today. Yeah, I believe so. But anywho, um, yeah, that's really about it, what we're doing today. We're just chilling today and, um, and just, you know, taking it day by day, but Another thing is too, the second time I ordered my curtains from Macy's and they canceled it again. I believe what happens is at the moment when I place my order and they take the money out, it's in stock. But when they go and process it, it's out of stock because this is ridiculous. Twice I had order it and I'm just waiting for the refund. And I'm just going to take that money and just go... Yeah, because I really want the only reason why reason I really wanted them, cause they're really I love blackout curtains. Like I said before, who me? I need. I'm gonna give me a pressure. Oh no, I have a rod in my room. You do? Mm -hmm. Um, so I know Amazon has deals, but oh, the struggle, the struggle. So let me fix this settings. Okay, so 
I'm upset about that. So last night I stood up pretty late because I got stressed all over that with the curtains. So I didn't go to bed till like 4 a.m. and I was editing the, the Thanksgiving vlog. So sometimes I unwind at night, no, all the time. Actually, not sometimes, all the time. My me time is at night. So I was up pretty late and um, maybe that's why I'm, I'm a little bit sluggish, but I know I'm on crunch time. So I'm gonna do what I can today and just chill out and then that's it. And I wanted to take off this nail but it just seems like, um, Focus. huh? Focus. Hold on, why is it not focusing? So I wanted to take off this nail, see how black and blue it is? I wanted to take it off. Um, and I'm actually gonna take off my whole set and get a new set done over again. She do red and pink and white for Christmas. I might just do white. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But, um, yeah, that's it. I want to take it off, but it's, it's starting to, like, it hurts. I don't know. I just don't want, with, like, the water to get trapped underneath there and then mold. It probably not. No, it's not, Ma. Don't say that. I don't know. It hurts, though. But then, okay, I'm going to tell you the story about my hair. You see all these little flyaways in my hair? Look at my white hair. So, I cut this years ago, and um, I wanted a more, like, sleek look. I don't know what possessed me to do this. And when I say years ago... I mean, back when 2009, years ago, and I kept cutting it ever since, and now I gotta let it grow out, so now it looks kind of funky, if you guys see this in my videos, I know, it's my natural hair color coming out with it, and it looks weird, but I have to grow it out in order to get my bangs, that's why I'm letting these bangs just grow out, and then, um, I'm just, like, today I'm gonna oil my hair, and then I'm going to wash it out, oil it. And then let everything just grow out and then start all over again. Because I'm looking for more volume, like I said. But anywho, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just chilling. I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving. Um, like I said yesterday, my mom is doing a lot better today. Yeah, thank God. I know she has a doctor's appointment on Monday. So, I mean, I'm pretty much going to be busy. We were going to do the gender reveal. Can't do that. The results are not in yet. Which is okay, because she has a skin on the 1st of December, which is my mom's birthday. So, yep. So, I think we're going to go a different route this time. Mm -hmm. A lot planned going on right now. So, right now, I'm just going to just take it easy, give myself some a break. And, um, I think today I'm just going to take a break. You know what you should do? I think today I'm just going to take a break, because all the chaos from before. Yeah. And then I have my appointment on the 28th. But, yeah. That's what I'm going to do today. Oh, we, we, I'm not cooking today. No. It's leftovers. My mama turkey put everybody to sleep early yesterday. Uh, there's no more uh, mac and cheese. They ate it all? Even the other pan? Yes. All right. Like well, that was, it came out really good. Um, And then uh, my mom's turkey put them to bed at 8 o'clock. I was already in bed, like, and laying down, chilling for, like, at 7.44. And I just got to watching TV, and, and then I got the cups. editing. Huh? Yeah, I mentioned both cups at the same time. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. You know, that, I wanted to come up here real quick and say, you know, yesterday was a short video, um, didn't get much footage, a lot of running around, um, and then the little bit that we did have, it was fun anyways, we, you know, everybody was there, but, um, what you might call it, only person who didn't attend, she was upstairs with my mother, but that's pre pretty much what we do on Valentine's, I mean Valentine's Day, <laughs> Thanksgiving Day, is we always be around each other, and there's always always laughter and fun and my dad always cracking jokes about the turkey booty he always want to act like he he know he the only one to eat turkey booty always want to make me believe that I, I eat turkey booty i don't eat no turkey booty you can have it but um pretty much that was really it um and when we get together it's you know you know we have such a big family now that our family is expanding but my niece's grand i mean my niece's grandbaby oh my god my niece's child next year will be a lot different where you will see the baby and all that stuff. So it's going to be another generation coming up. So this is why I like to be around family, you know, and show my children what family really what family really is about. Like my dad said, families nowadays are in strife and against one another. And me personally, you know, I agree with him. I do agree with my dad. And sometimes, you know, it's best that, you know, you just stick with the ones that, you know, are not about drama and just want to just live peacefully, you know. And I do see a lot of family that don't 
act like family no more. Like, you know, people just don't care to get around the true fruit, true few that they have, or they don't, or they take that for granted. That's how I see it. So I teach my kids. All of us here, you know, we will get together. We'll do the best we can always. Um, like how yesterday was, a, it was literally last minute with my mom. Because we had went shopping, as you guys saw. And then she started not feeling good that day. So, um, and then she wanted to pull through. No, my, if you know my mom, my mom's a, a, a person that she don't like to disappoint. I mean, she could cook the most amazingest meal and then she would still feel she didn't do it enough. Or she'll feel like it was not good enough. She's one of those. And I hate that about her, that little trait right there. Because I also got that trait of myself from her. Thanks, Mom. But she has to understand, too, that, you know, whenever she's not feeling good, we're always going to be there to pick it up. I mean, like I said, Dazzling, Raul, all of us here, we help pick up. And that's what family is for. And that's what I want to teach uh, the new generation is no matter what you go through, you know, and I get it. Some cases is evil betrayal, and I, I understand that part where you just can't be around that person or that family member. You know, you always treat each other with respect because once my, me and my husband, Lord forbid, are gone, you guys only have each other. So to make the best of what you can and always try to hash things out if it could be hashed out. You don't want to be like enemies, you know? So, you know, my kids are used to like a big family celebration. And in the last couple years since COVID, we really haven't got together and done much of anything, right? Anyways, now you must be tripping. I messed my train of thought up. Uh, what did I say? COVID. COVID. In the last couple years, we haven't done much of anything together. No. I know this year, um, we're doing things, not Thanksgiving, Christmas, Christmas and New Year's. Um, we always, that's been a trend now for... When did we do start doing that? Oh, years ago. Yeah, so that's last Christmas we all had together was when we were all younger. Yes, and um, it was kind of give my mom a break because my mom and I, especially my mother, uh, always in the kitchen. We were always in the kitchen, and we don't really have a break. So this year, um, we're gonna do that. And if the weather permits, I'll always no, bring my family actually, food. Actually, in 2020 was the last time we did it because I remember. That was the last time we all did Christmas together, but we didn't open gifts. We just celebrated Christmas at Grandma's house, and then we went home and opened gifts. Okay, so, okay, so, yeah. Then know this year, like again, like I just said, um, oh, I'm gonna talk about this too. We're just gonna do it amongst us, and right now we're planning on catering, so I will bring my parents' food if the weather permits. Where I live now kind of sucks for parking. Oh, I hate it. Um, cause I live on a main road and. Honey, you don't want to park your car in front of my house because your mirror will be side swiped. Your truck, your car will be side swiped. So, I do have a parking lot, but I do live in a apartment building with many tenants. So, that's going to suck. Mm -hmm. But, we'll do the best we can. I do want my nieces and nephew over because I do want to plan on party. doing a Christmas party. And I'm pretty sure they will stay over. They will. Yeah, they will. They're eager to stay over my house. So, I don't know. We'll, I mean, we'll take it day by day. But that's my plan for right now. Now. We have the air mattress. So me and yeah, they got. They have an air mattress, too. So, they can sleep on that. I'm pretty sure Delilah's going to sleep with uh, Sharona. Like they She's small sleep. enough. Yeah. And Raul got a big bed. So, as so I and him. King size bed. They're good. Now. Now. Vlogmas, I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Being that we just moved in. Nothing's prepared. As far as I have nothing. Maybe next year. Definitely next year. I will be vlogging, yes. But, like, but I can't vlog every okay. day the way I want to because I will just be now sending in, figuring. I mean, again, I will be vlogging. But to say I'm going to participate in Vlogmas every day, no. I don't even have the decor I want. Like, I'm not going to sit what here. Are you doing this year? I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do it and then, you know, I'm just going to just go with the flow and then, God willing, next year it'll be different, a lot different and I have a toddler running around my house. It's going to be so fun. So, hopefully that he or she won't be pulling on my tree. <laughs> but, um, and next year I want to buy a different tree. So, I, I won't be able to decorate like I want and do the things that what I want. What theme are you doing here? I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm doing at all, period. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. So, but I feel like by Christmas we'll be unpacked. We'll be unpacked, but 
we're just now getting us settled. Never mind decorating, you know? I do little things, like the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. but not the way I would like. I didn't even go to Hobby Lobby the way I went to this year. You can. Everything's already almost gone. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta think ahead. If you're going to Hobby Lobby or Home Goods, you gotta think ahead. You gotta, you gotta shop ahead of time. So, so I just want to say that too. I won't be doing vlogmas. You should do blue. But blue I might just do a, a farmhouse. Okay. Never Why do I got a problem with me doing Christmas farmhouse? This isn't about farmhouse. That's not. It's about Jesus. That's, it's not about Santa either. Okay. Well, nobody really believes in Santa, so. That's a lie. All the little kids do. Okay, well, all the little kids do. But, um, you know, we're not doing farmhouse as a tree theme. You don't even know what I'm talking about to say that. You would probably do that ugly beige Christmas where people only use the little white and brown ornaments. And that. You should take that back because probably people that watch that me do so that. That is so ugly if you ever. That's your opinion. They probably like it. You like a sad Christmas. You like no colors, no lights. I don't like. No I don't like bright. I don't no. like traditional. I do. And when I grow, that's why you're gonna have a tree in your room. No. Sorry, my my thing cut off. Hold on, let me fix my settings. Stop judging me. See how she be judging me? That's not how my Christmas would look like. Okay. You're just very whatever. Anyways, um um yeah. So I didn't really go shopping the way I want. So basically, I'm just gonna. Dress it up and then start putting gifts underneath. This is they do ornaments. They have it at the. Like, yeah, we're doing. Oh, my finger went all in my nose. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not going to Family Dollar. Well, they have ornaments like the big packs there. Yeah, we do blue. Blue would be cute with snowflakes. We should do Beauty and the Beast in honor of Beauty and Nip Nip. Oh, okay. Yellow. And uh, you can buy a rose for the top of the tree as a topping. Is it topping? Topic. I don't know. You could do, you could do uh, the white light. I'm going to watch that movie even. Here comes Josias. What does he want? Oh, hold on. Look at he going to smile. Oh, he does a smile. Look at look, look. Put the window down, Daddy. Um, where's the um, dark lights? Behind the microwave. <laughs> behind the microwave. <laughs> They're always fighting. Anyways. Yeah. That's about it, guys. So... I have a lot going on, but it's going to be done. I just want to let you guys know ahead of time. So, yeah, this is the aftermath. Very sluggish and un unclear what I'm doing right now. Yeah, leftovers. I'm going to go eat some apple pie. <laughs> oh, my God. That Let's talk so about good. that pumpkin pie. It was truly delicious. For $5. For 5 bucks. That's a good quality pie. That's really good. Really good. I mean, I... Pff, duh, it's, it's Costco. Huge. It's what? Yeah, they had what you do with the um apple pie yesterday? What I put it in the, uh, the oven. You put it, they put it in the oven and had ice cream, and it was good. And that's why I went to sleep. No, really, they, I, that's the earliest my kid had went to bed in a long time. No, that's why we go to bed. But when Mr. don't go to bed as late as you guys think he was. No, no, I've been starting to go to bed early. Really, I've been waking up at nine and eight. You've been waking up at I love when my kids say that I wake up at nine and eight. Ma, you know, they be the last couple of weeks. Ever since you guys talked to us, I've been waking up early. Yeah, I've been. We had to have a talk because they've been so, showing out. They need to go to bed. And when we move. Yeah, I've been waking up early. Uh 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 uh. My dashboard. Because all I see is your footprints up there. And why would you sit that way? Anyways, guys, I hope you had to have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I'm grateful to still be alive, to be here, to be celebrating it, um, to survive COVID. Are you happy? No. There's always that one child, honey. I was nothing like this. Yeah, you Definitely you not. No sisters. At all. That's Actually, sad. I do have a sister. That's sad. That's really no, it's sad. Not. I cannot have a sister. I can. I cannot. Me and my sister are I'm going to be honest, guys, with you for real, for real. Me and my sister have a great bond. For real, for real. God knew when He blessed my parents with me, all you need is one sister because there's one brother that me and him, I love him to death. Oh, yes, I do. But, mm mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I mean, yes, I love my brother to death, and you, of course, we will always, you know, whatever issue we may have, we'll hash it out, but that's enough. He's enough. He's enough. He's enough. This is the guy said, you don't need no sisters, because I know what I'll do. My parents will really, literally have to build separate houses for us, because my temper is, 
I'm very picky. That's don't... a you problem, honestly. Yep, and it's a my problem. So different. There's nobody else that need to be in it. My sister don't go through that. Please. We're able to rash things out. Rash? Hash. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hash things out. All right. We do. I'll tell her. You know, I tell my kids, especially dating. See, people don't understand my daughter. Dating is very loving, very sweet, but she's also very blunt, very um sarcastic and let things pretty much roll off her back it's just gonna get you angry because her nonchalant attitude is okay you're mad and get over it okay i'm not gonna shut up so you shut up so she's always gonna have a rebuttal and you're not gonna win you're not and if you know then you got serenity who's serious just like her dad no but um, serenity does the same thing i do and I don't know yeah why she copies me and that's not funny anymore it's case of your medicine so my serenity you know she's not so serene no you piss her off Forget it. And it will escalate from there. So, just watching my two daughters fight and what I got to go you through. You've never actually seen us like fight, fight, though. Oh, no. no I never, not, ever. Not like, not, like, not like talking, like actually fighting. I witnessed it. No, you have Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Telling, I, I birthed you. Not like how. I like, had to pull you apart when you were smaller. When we were smaller now. We fight because I don't condone, but I don't, I don't condone that. Know. They know that. It was like two years ago. Me, and her fall in the middle of the night because she wouldn't get off of my bed, and then she picked the mattress up and she put it on top of me. She sat on me, <laughs> she and then she tried to push me to the wall. Oh, hold on, that's my son. Okay, guys, I don't want to keep dragging this video out, but yeah, pretty much it's just like a chill day. We're just chilling, relaxing. I hope you guys had a very happy Thanksgiving. I know I'm very grateful for my amazing husband, my amazing four children, my niece, my nephews, uh, my nieces and nephews. Um, I'm uh, very grateful for um, my niece's unborn baby and her pregnancy and her boyfriend. You know, a whole new generation is coming up now and I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to be alive. I'll tell you that right now. Every day is very, very, uh, it's a blessing that we're here, you know. And uh, it's a blessing that I have you guys. I'm grateful for you guys for rocking with me, supporting me, whether you watch me and not subscribe or you're subscribing and watch me. I appreciate it. I really do because this is not easy. This is not for the week. Huh. <laughs> Okay, it is really not for the week. And I appreciate the ones that communicate with me, that engage with me. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I wish nothing but the best and prosperity. And going into 2024, nothing but blessings upon blessings upon blessings. All right? And now we're going to end this. I can't believe it. It's almost the end of the year already. But, um... Yeah, so I just want to come up and say, you know, it was a chaotic yesterday, but we got it on, on through, baby. God, you know, always makes a way out of no way. And um, family is everything. Family for us is our, our foundation, our everything. You know, we were talking about my daughters, right, how they were fighting. So with that being said, um, yes, my daughter went in the house. God knows what he was doing when he said, I ain't going to give her no sisters because it's going to drive them parents insane. All right. And boys, growing up with all boys wasn't easy. Easy. And I, I think that's why my attitude and the way I am is, the, is like rough and tough because I had to be rough and tough with them. If not, they would have trampled all over me in the sense where bullying me and, you know, being siblings, how we are. And especially my brother Eddie, who loves to crack jokes and always 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 making me laugh and then we end up getting in trouble because we were laughing in the most wrong moments ever but um i'm still I'm, even through it all we all are grateful to have each other i love my brothers dearly beyond this earth and my mother my dad especially of course for always being our rock being our um our therapist our peace of mind our go-to you know and just you know giving us Everything when we, you know, when we didn't even, even see it in ourselves to give ourselves everything in a sense where, you know, lacking the motivation and doubts and everything like that. So, all right, guys, on that note, I love you and I wish you had a happy Thanksgiving. And um, that's really about it. All right, guys. So I'll see you in a new apartment because, yes, I will be editing the other vlogs. All right, guys. All right. All right, guys, so it is November 25th, and um, I just want to say I did ask everyone for their prayers, and I appreciate everyone's prayers for my mother, um, and so far it's been working, so I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and just keep on praying for my mom, 
you know and um i'll explain on a later later day but right now i'm gonna take this time to um just to go ahead and um be by my family i had to put gum in my mouth because i have not slept y'all and um god is um it's gonna show up for my mom um and you know she's a fighter I call her my little my little pit bull pit bull in a skirt. So, you know how I feel about my parents, so especially my mother. And I just ask you guys continue to pray, pray. And um I'll keep you updated. So um sorry for my parents. I look a hot dog of a mess. But I'll see you guys. Hey guys, so it's been a very long day. Um, I look a mess. You can imagine. Put it right here. I took out my nail. But I look a mess. But um, we don't get into too much detail right now. I just want to thank everyone who has wished my mother um, well wishes and prayers. We definitely needed them. And it's showing out for my mom. Um, definitely an eye opener and definitely. We have a journey in front of us, but we know that God is a God of, of everything, okay? So, um, I just want to say that, you know, like I always say, health is wealth. Um, and uh, my little lady's fighting, pulling, pulling through for her tough self. Um, definitely a trying time right now, I will say, but, um. Nothing that God can't turn around anyway. But I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart and my family's heart that um, you are basically said in prayers. I haven't slept. Um, now I'm in the hospital with my niece. Uh, Nevaeh, as you know, she's um, actually at midnight. She'll be 13 weeks pregnant. <sighs> she had fainted. I mean, I think everything is just a lot for everyone right now. But God is good. God is good. God is great. Like I always say, we keep our trust in the Lord. He is our healer, our doctor, and he has the last say, baby. So thank you to everyone. And I want to take this time to like really um, relax for a little bit, take some time. My mom's going to need my help, my whole family. And um, I will edit the old ones for real this time. Um, but I'll keep you posted. But just know your prize is working. All right. So... I'll go to the next vlog, guys. Cherish your loved ones. And listen, <clears throat> health is wealth. And uh, tomorrow is promised to nobody. So cherish what you have now. Okay, guys?